poplave jesu aktualna tema, ne samo na teritoriji grada Kraljeva, već i šire u čitavom slivu Zapadne Morave, koji uključuje i sliv reke Ibar, gde se sada nalazimo. In 2019, all the production and work spaces and the entire complex of the company GIR was under water. The damage that was then determined was almost a million euros. In this case, the damage risks are already happening. We are having one of the largest droughts. Flooding is, is another impact that we've seen across the region. So building climate resilient infrastructure becomes a very important aspect. The government of Serbia is supporting a roads project in the West Morava Valley. They've identified this as the best place for a very important corridor that would unite various communication links, both in the country as well as outside. The project is being partly enabled by a MEGA guarantee of $450 million to a group of lenders. Morava Corridor project for sure holds a significant place on infrastructure map of the Republic of Serbia. The project stretches along the Zapadna Morava Valley and includes construction from Pojate to Prenina and the river regulation works of Zapadna Morava River. The Kenya Roads program is very ambitious. The government is planning to rehabilitate over 10,000 kilometers of roads, and it has divided that program into lots. MEGA is supporting two lots, lots 15 and lot 18, and we are providing a guarantee of over $380 million for that effort. In addition to that, we are continuing to work with the government and may be supporting additional guarantees going forward. Climate resilient infrastructure is designed, built and operated in a way that anticipates, prepares for and adapts to the climate change events. The main objective of the river regulation works is protecting the motorway from flooding and fluvial erosion. The motorway drainage works. The system consists of drainage pipes, gutters, manholes. They will enable the efficient drainage of the motorway and will facilitate a safe traffic flow. Previously, before the project started, this place, whenever it rained, it was inaccessible. But right now, what you have done with all the drainage system and the tarmac in place, it helps now control the floods and also help people to drive through without any problems. What benefit do we think MIGA brings to this opportunity? I think the key one is enabling foreign investors like us to invest in opportunities that could have been very difficult for us to invest while we not to have the cover. The environmental and social performance standards of MIGA embedded in the project implementation supports the resilient and inclusive development outcomes. In the past 20-30 years, I think that we have lost that contact with the climate and the need to change the infrastructure. I am convinced that our territory and the city of Kraljeva will be less when there are some future catastrophes. Climate resilient infrastructure is important for the future of MIGA. Climate resilient infrastructure is important for the future of MIGA. Climate resilient infrastructure is important for the future of MIGA, but it's most important to the people who are using the infrastructure because we are expecting climate change to become more severe 
by building what is resilient now, we will be saving money in the future when these shocks impact these infrastructure projects. We also hope that these projects bring people together. Roads projects are so important to a nation's economy. Roads connect people who may not otherwise be able to be connected. It really brings people together and it brings commerce together.